No one's in it. Marking autonomous vehicles as traffic hazards. The group Safe Street Rebels is placing cones on Cruise and Waymo cars as a way to temporarily stop them. They want these cars off the road permanently. Expanded and basically unfettered access to the city streets is a really bad idea. This person is a member of the Safe Street Rebels and asked us not to share their identity. The group calls the protest the Week of Cone. It is happening ahead of next week's vote by the State Public Utilities Commission on whether to allow Cruise and Waymo to expand their services in the city. Residents never actually got a chance to have a say in this and never really consented to being used as human guinea pigs. ABC7 has documented issues with Cruise and Waymo. Just recently, two Waymo cars stalled near the Pride Parade downtown, backing up traffic. The San Francisco Fire Department has criticized crews for cars blocking emergency units. According to the group, using a traffic cone on top of the car disables it. And since they feel like they are traffic hazards, they think using a cone is a good way to send a message. As a pedestrian, I feel a little uncomfortable with them. Uh, as a cyclist, I also feel uncomfortable around them. Waymo told ABC7 News, not only is this understanding of how AVs operate incorrect, but this is vandalism and encourages unsafe and disrespectful behavior on our roadways. We will notify law enforcement of any unwanted or unsafe interference of our vehicles on public roadways. A spokesperson for Cruise told us Cruise's fleet provides free rides to late night service workers without reliable transportation options has delivered over 2 million meals to food insecure San Franciscans and recovers food waste from local businesses. Intentionally obstructing vehicles gets in the way of those efforts and risks creating traffic congestion for local residents. Safe Street Rebel says the risk of these cars operating is not worth it. They say if cars can easily be disabled with cones, having more of them on the road is a hazard for residents. Even if you have the perfect driver, which is what these are kind of pitched as, like, there's still something fundamentally unsafe at moving at speed with a two-ton metal box through the city. Ryan Curry, ABC7 News.